So today we're jumping right into the action. So I basically aged this world. Aged? Is that is that the right term? Uh, basically, I spawned all of these countries and I um, put it in fast motion and leveled them up to, um, I think, max, actually. So I think 58 is the max. Yes, they're all level 58, so they're all... Um, max all their cultures are maxed out except for Australia. I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're just, just being, being stupid, stupid. But You guys have to forgive me. This map isn't completely accurate. Obviously like we're missing Canada But I think that's fine. Um, but we got North America South America. Those are pretty accurate as far as Land they own or whatever um, but obviously Europe's a little bit bigger the Middle East is a little bit bigger and Russia and Asia are a bit smaller than usual because um, Russia usually like extends to about over here and Asia usually is a, a bigger region but I think it's a little more fair this way just because I feel like Europe in the Middle East would have been like so small they would have just gotten destroyed like super easy but for the most part it's pretty accurate and then you got Australia down here which their population kind of like capped out pretty early so they've just been stuck at like six six seventy six for pretty much like the entirety of the the 700 years so i'll be honest i don't have a lot of faith in them but you know what we'll see what happens so we'll go to world laws we will enable diplomacy so they can start declaring wars on each other and you know what let's turn on um natural disasters why not so already russia has declared war on asia wait they declared war on the uh the middle east too they were just waiting for me to turn on diplomacy so that it, that they could like destroy everyone Oh my gosh. Dang, they got so much army. What kind of weapons? Whoa, okay. I don't think I've ever, like, done the game long enough to where people got um, adamantine stuff. But this guy's got a adamantine spear. <laughs> An adamantine huge spear. Dang, all right. <laughs> well, we're starting off with a, with a big bang, I guess. Russia's already making, like, a huge push into Asia. Um... Which I kind of want to see, like, how much armor they have. Oh, what the heck? Why does Asia have so little? Yeah, Russia's got 800 and Asia's got 206. Dang, that sucks. That might be a, a quick rip for, for Asia. Okay, but there, Russia's attacking Asia. And we got a lot of wars that just happened. I don't even... I have to, like, look at what what uh wars are going on. Okay, so we got Africa at war with Europe. Then North America has declared war on South America. And... Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> so Africa and Europe are fighting. Although it doesn't really seem like they're doing much. Yeah, their army's just like chilling over here. I think Africa's got a pretty nice army though. Yeah, they got 527 and Europe's got 395. So Africa could technically conquer Europe. I just think they don't really know like how to get there. Because they do have, they should have boats by now. Yeah, they have no docks. What the heck? What <laughs> what are you doing, Africa? Yeah, in order to get there, they'd have to cross... Oh, is that... Is that Europe's army? Who is that? Oh, it's the Middle East? I don't think they're at war with anyone. Oh, no, that is Europe's army. They're, they're Okay, Europe's army is up here. <laughs> but this is Middle East army. So, looks like they're trying to come down and attack... Um, Africa? Okay, there's a little, like land bridge across here so they can't actually get to each other oh dang yeah you got a huge battle going on right now what the heck there's so much so much blood so much death yeah middle what the oh my gosh middle east has a huge army yeah it's funny that their army's not even doing anything <laughs> they're just like in the middle of all this well like africa and europe are just going ham at each other okay i think africa fended them off though oh and i think they might be marching up now they might go try and attack Europe. Okay, there they go. Yeah, Europe just keeps sending guys down. I want to see how much armor they have now. <laughs> I think they lost a lot. Uh, yeah, they're down to 130. And then Africa is down to 340, which isn't bad. I think they were at 500 before. So they're still doing pretty good. Oh, what the heck? Is that just a regular giant? <laughs> Why do they seem like bigger than usual? I don't remember them being this big. Africa's definitely trying to go up to Europe now. <laughs> Which they'll probably be able to take it. Um, now that they have no army to really defend themselves. Let's check on um, Europe and... Or not Europe. <laughs> Russia and Asia. Okay, so Russia's trying to take one of Asia's cities right now. They're just stuck at 91% for some reason. What, uh, 
What's stopping you guys? Yeah, this is going to be crazy if um, Russia can take this. Because that's an extra 2,000 population for them. <laughs> and they're already one of the biggest... Yeah, they're one of the biggest nations right now. Okay, still stuck at 91%. I don't know. Maybe they need more soldiers? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, let's go check on Africa and... How are these guys doing? Okay, yeah, these are Africa soldiers. African soldiers. So they're trying to take part of Europe right now, um, which Europe is down to crap. Europe's down to 28 army now. Rip Europe. <laughs> There's no way they're going to survive this. And Middle East is still just still just vibing. They have they have no quarrel with anyone else right now. Oh, and Russia just took it. Crap. Oh, dang. Europe uh, rushes up to 500 or 5,400. That's crazy. And they're probably going to take this too. Yeah, it looks like they want to. <laughs> They're starting to send some guys down. All right, I guess we should look at what's going on up here. Or over here in America. Um, so South America is trying to take part of North, North America right now. I'm not sure what the army difference is between them. Okay, so North America does have a lot more army and a lot more population too. So they're at almost 4,000 and 1,000 army. And South America is at 2,000 and... I already forgot. Um... 500 army so what is this boat doing was a north american boat what <laughs> what is it even doing it's not even like going anywhere it's just getting pelted by arrows oh south america just took this okay so that's a good boost for south america so they are up to like a little over 2000 army or not army <laughs> population oh crap asia was just destroyed okay hold up we gotta <laughs> what the heck is going on over here dang so russia just took over asia so they're up to 6,000 population. <laughs> what the heck? They only have 600 army. So they could potentially still get conquered. You just need like the Middle East to declare war on, on Russia. Because they, they already have like a ton of soldiers in here. Unless they are at war with them. Oh, I think they, they are. What the heck? Oh, no. They're getting captured though. Come on, Middle East. If you can just take, if you can take one of these cities, just, just keep trading with them. Just they can take one of your cities and you take one of their cities. Okay, nothing's really happened with Europe and Africa yet. All right, let's see relations. Okay, so Africa is still war at war with Europe. Europe, I guess, is just at war with Africa. <laughs> They're just two, like, mortal enemies. And then um, North America is at war with South America still. And Russia is at war with the Middle East. I'm surprised, like, I don't think any... Um, countries are at war with two different people they're just declaring war on like one person at a time okay russia is taking over part of middle east crap so they're up to <laughs> 6200 which is not good yeah so middle east i'm not sure they're gonna last through this <laughs> it's just gonna be asia all over again russia's just become like so powerful look at that look at how much look at how much how many guys there are and then australia over here is still just vibing <laughs> They're, they've stayed out of every single war. They're just like chilling over here. Though what's confusing is the fact that they don't have docks. Because <laughs> they do have, they definitely have the level for it. Yeah, they got like all of the dock advancements. And yet they're still just like chilling over here. I wonder if I could just give them like a transport boat. If they would actually use it. Will you guys use this? Um, we'll give them another one. <laughs> Though I guess they don't have anywhere to go. They're not at war with anyone at the moment. Okay, Middle East was just destroyed, so Russia just killed them. Uh, Russia is up to 6,700, and man, it just seems like a stalemate between South and North America. No one seems to be able to take the other one over. <laughs> yeah, not even like North America can take Mexico back, which is surprising. I feel like they could take this back easy. Yeah, they have so much army up here. What are you guys? <laughs> what are you guys doing? All right, at this point, I'm wondering if we should just put everybody at war. Just because I feel like we have so many stalemates right now. Africa can't really take Europe over. Um, North America can't take South America. And we actually need Australia to kind of join in on the fun. Because <laughs> they haven't done like anything this whole time. Yeah, Africa just made peace with... Oh, wait, what? When did this happen? <laughs> How did I not even like notice when that was happening? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's funny. So they just took one of Europe's, like, biggest cities and then made peace with them. It's like, yeah, we're going to kill, like, thousands of your people 
and take your city and then we'll and then we'll make peace with you that makes sense all right but yeah we should put everyone at war so we'll see how this goes <laughs> um, we'll put everybody at war and let's enable or disable Dipl disable diplomacy okay I'm, I'm really scared of what <laughs> Russia is gonna do now that they're at war with everyone yeah Europe's pretty much done for um, North America might be able to combat Russia though because if you if you look their armies are pretty similar and they're not like they are behind in population but they're not too behind especially if they could take over South America I feel like they could totally um, rival Russia oh and Australia is like actually expanding so they have a little colony over here now Suvi Suvi Suvukio yeah still no docks oh they're loading some guys up though they're just taking their whole army I wonder I want to see where they're going okay I guess they're full so they're heading out where are you where are you going Mr. Boat oh, are they going to Russia I hope they are let's go Australia come on attack Russia yes oh yeah they just unloaded them yes let's go <laughs> take this over oh what Oh, is that Russia or is that America? Oh, <gasps> that's North America. Bro, what the heck? Yeah, so North America just took part of Africa over and they own and they own the south part of South America. <laughs> Somehow, I guess they like sailed all the way around <laughs> just to go take this. Okay, Russia is taking another city. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, they got tons of army in here, which I guess we missed out on some stuff cuz um, remember, Africa had taken most of Europe over. They only had 100 population, but I guess they took it back. <laughs> so that's good. And Africa just took back um, this city, but they're also getting captured by America. So I don't know if it really is a good thing. Oh, is that is that America? What the heck? That's... <laughs> Bruh, they actually passed up um, Russia. That's insane. So they're up to almost like 7K. Versus that 6,500. Bro, I did not see this coming. When they're taking um, South America over. So I think this is the end of South America. Um, 90, uh, 100%. Yep. South America was just destroyed. So we got one, two, three, four, five countries left. And I think Europe's like kind of on their last legs. They got 80 population left. Okay, Russia is taken back. I guess not taken back, but taken one of America's cities. 52%. Although, to be honest, I don't even know who I'm rooting for at this point. I feel like both of them are kind of evenly matched. <laughs> There's not really like an underdog, I guess. Oh, and Europe wants to join in on the fun too. I wish I had the confidence that Europe has right now. They send in like five guys and they're just like, yeah, we can totally take this city. It'll be easy. No problem. Oh, shoot. Okay. Russia actually passed up North America. So they're up to 7,200 and North America is up to 67. Oh, and Africa is down to 130. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rip Africa. All it would take is like a few of America's soldiers to probably take these few over. Oh, and Australia took this over. So they're starting to actually get to the mainland. So they're up to what? 1159. Yeah. Australia is kind of jumping in the race a little bit. And Europe was just destroyed, which... Honestly, I think we all saw that coming. <laughs> I'm surprised they lasted so long. Yeah, so we're down to just four nations. I think I'm going to change the color of Russia because I feel like it's too similar to America. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't know what's going on. What's a good Russia color? I feel like that's good. Do you like an orange? Oh, Australia's taking another city. What the? <laughs> I don't know how Australia is pulling this off right now. And they're taking another one. Okay, Russia took that back, but they almost took this one. Okay, well, at least Australia is, like, still on the mainland. Kind of. Though, I don't know, like, how long they're going to last <laughs> in this spot. Because they're just surrounded by America and Russia. Oh, and Australia took over Madagascar? <laughs> and why are there so many turtles on here? Dang, that turtle is 7, 17 years old. I think he's as old as this world is. Yeah, pretty much. That's funny. I wasn't expecting anyone to take Madagascar over. <laughs> it's so, like, small. Oh, no. Russia. Oh, yeah. Russia wants their city back. <laughs> they really want their city back. Aw, oh, rip Australia. They just wanted to be part of this world. <laughs> but now they're going to get destroyed. Dang, I feel like someone's just going to put Africa out of their misery. <laughs> They've just been hanging on by, like, a thread for a while now. 
I don't know why, like, America... America or Russia. I don't know why either of them aren't taking this over. <laughs> it's, like, super easy. It's 28 guys left. All right, at this point... Okay, maybe we'll speed this up a little bit. Let's go five times speed. What's with all these, like, fires in Australia? I mean, I guess it's, like, kind of accurate. I just... I just don't know why. All right, at this point, I'm thinking we should turn on Angry Villagers. Because <laughs> I don't see this going anywhere. I feel like we've been at, like, a stalemate for, like, forever. So let's just, well, at least try it and see how that goes. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now their population's dropping super quick. Rip. <laughs> yeah, they're getting demolished. Look how fast, like, their numbers are dropping. Oh, okay. And now they're capturing it. <laughs> down to two population and they took it okay and africa is just down to this one little city now she shy shuama or whatever <laughs> yeah let's take a look at the kingdoms again so russia the russia and north america are pretty evenly matched as far as population um, north america does have a little more army <laughs> so i don't even really know who's gonna win honestly they seem so evenly matched <laughs> maybe, maybe this, this will just, just go, go on, on forever, forever. All right, maybe we'll go um, Sonic Speed just for a little bit, just until we get like something happening. <laughs> okay, we got something. So America's taken over Wabe, one of Russia's cities. Only took them like 200 years <laughs> to do that, or like 100 years. All right, so America's finally making a big push. Hopefully they'll be able to take this. If I turn off Angry Villagers, will they capture it faster? Okay, I don't think so. Let's let's turn it back on. Okay, here we go. 200 population. Oh, come on, guys. Where are you going? What? What are you guys doing? <gasps> oh, America's finally taking this. Well, now that it's down to one population, I guess. <laughs> okay, they just took it. So Africa is officially gone. So we're just down to um, Russia, America, and Australia, which I don't really know if they count at this point. Okay, so America just destroyed one of Russia's villages. Um, let's take a look at the kingdoms. Dang, still pretty evenly matched. America's 2,000 and Russia is 1,700. The problem is most of America's army is still... Yeah, <laughs> they're still all on this continent. I'm kind of wondering if we should move them. Yeah, I think we should because I think it's kind of fair because, I mean, Russia's entire army is on this continent. So I think it'd be fair to move America's as well. I don't think this is actually going to work. <laughs> I think they're just going to run, like, right back, but we can at least try. Just watch them, like, get on a boat and go right back to America. Oh, is this the boat? No? Okay. Okay, they might have actually, like, settled in. Oh, yeah. Look at them go. Yes, let's go, guys. Go take over Russia. Okay, well, <laughs> that's the first time that's actually worked. Oh, my gosh. Look how much. They have so much army. What the heck? Yeah, that's where all their army was this whole time. <laughs> They had, like, no army that was actually on Africa. Okay, they just took Kadoon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They're going for Tepes. Tepes. Oh, you got tons. They're throwing tons of bombs. Oh, there we go. Okay. Russia's army has finally been unleashed. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? There's so many guys in there. And they all got full adamantine? Yeah, this looks like all adamantine weapons. Oh, America's taking another city. In Inuguo. Nice. Okay. America's really making a push. Armies are still pretty evenly matched. Unfortunately, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to beat this little, like, square of death over here. They come out and attack guys, and then they just return right back at their square. <laughs> All right. Come on, America. Okay. They're falling back a little bit. America could probably take this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 18 left. America, what are you, do what are you doing? What's this? What's this? Go go over there and fight, you fools. Oh, shoot. You just had an asteroid. <laughs> just blow up a like, part of Africa, or part of the Middle East. Oh, they're taking this over. Crap, all right. Yeah, they're up to 2,300, and Russia's down to 14. So they're definitely got, they've definitely got the numbers. I don't know if all those guys are here. I think they still do have some army um, in America. Two hours later. All right, so I fast forward like 200 years and not a lot's happened. Um, America took this city over, which is good. And they destroyed whatever the one down here was. Um, at this point, I feel like we need a way to kind of 
wrap this up quickly because this has been going on for like forever. <laughs> um, so let's figure out a way we can kind of end this fairly, I guess. Because I know if I just drop bombs on Russia, people, people are going to get, get mad, mad at me. At let's disable villager reproduction so they can't multiply anymore. Um, I think that'll kind of help further things along. <laughs> um, anything else we can do? I mean, I guess we could turn on hunger and old age. That'll help more people die. Yeah, so America is, um, dang, a thousand army? I guess they, I guess a lot of them died. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then Russia's down to 438 army. So hopefully this will wrap up pretty quickly. All right, yeah, so America just destroyed, like, China or whatever that was. So Russia's just down to these last five, plus this, like, little one. I really just want America to just end our misery. Just take over Russia. It's not that hard. Oh, dang. What the heck? <laughs> Why are they all dying so quick? Oh, I guess... Oh, my bad. I turned off villager reproduction and I turn on old age and hunger. So they're all just dying of old age and hunger because <laughs> they can't reproduce. <laughs> yeah, there goes Russia. All right. Well, I guess that kind of destroyed the whole world, unfortunately. <laughs> That, that was, was not, not a good, good idea. idea. I mean, I think we can conclude that um, America was going to win, though. Because they had, like, what, triple the population that the that Russia had and, like, way more army. So they would have won eventually. It just would have probably taken, like, a thousand years. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.